everyone keeps telling me how my story is supposed to go. Look in my eyes, tell me your tell. Do you see the road? I am to my soul. Tell me the size whenever the smoke clear out of my face and my picture perfect. Nah, I'm gonna do my own thing. Look in my eyes, tell me your tell. Do you see the road? I am to my soul. Tell me the size whenever the Are you ready to be entertained? Let's get into another reaction, y'all. This is Lucifer, season six, episode two. Let's jump right into it, y'all. You wanna see a cinephile reaction? Link is down below. While you're down there, please hit the like button, share, and don't forget to comment. Now, without further ado, let's jump into Lucifer and find out exactly what this show has got to give. What's going on over here? <laughs> Not quite yet, but uh, uh -huh. something else. I never thought Amenadiel's rod being used in my sex life would be such a great thing. <laughs> All I had to do was love you, and that the simple act of loving you would make me feel worthy of you. Allowing us to have no holds barred sex all night long, well then, it would have done it much sooner. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was a lot. Kill you to knock! Your door is an elevator! Ah! Uh. Your return to heaven has been requested. Ah, when all things change. <laughs> you are in bed, scan to be clad. Talk about things not changing. Amenadiel, what's the rush? Oh, what she said. Your dad was on Earth for, what, a few months and everything was fine. And Lucifer has been here for weeks and look, is the universe collapsing or frogs falling from the sky? And <laughs> if the universe were to fall apart, don't you think you, of all angels, would know first? Oh, becoming God is a big job. Maybe he doesn't want to go in half cocked. I should definitely be full cocked. We just fought a war for him. Well, technically I did most of the fighting. Have a little faith in your brother. He'll get there. He always does. Don't worry, I know just what I need to do. I need you to tell me what to do. <laughs> you need me to tell you what to do to be God? What is the problem? Well, I have seven billion problems and I only love one. I need to care about all the humans on the planet. Things I find a large majority of the human race to be insufferable. Talk about mouth breathers. So how is it possible that you're able to care about all of them? Taking your own opinions out of the equation. Mm. Listening without bias. Mm. I need to be able to help people that I don't care about and I'll prove I can be God. Oh, Lord. You know, I suppose you've had worse ideas. You really do have a very special way of helping me. Mm. Good morning. Even better now. He's cute kind of a little bit. Thanks. It's um, it's good to see you too. Notice they were showing Super Cop here. I, I love that movie. Me oh too. Gosh. It's a great movie. So do I. Personally, I love Michelle, Michelle Yeoh. Yeoh. Yeah. Takes the chopsticks and she just uses them as weapons. Yeah, she's like shoom shoom. And yeah. then Jackie Chan just throws a bunch of them. I started taking karate lessons because of her. Really? Hit! Oh, easy, die. easy now. And you're like, <laughs> oh, oh, Lord. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Old butterfingers over yeah. here. Uh, don't worry, I drop stuff all the time. Showing this thing all week, we should. Murder! What? Uh, I mean, I mean, a dead body there. PTSD. Um, is a John Doe. Uh, no hits on prints, no wallet. What was the cause of death again? Well, must what? have been one angry woman. Or Michelle Yeoh working on her moves. Oh, hey, Lucifer. Out of my way, Miss Lopez, I care about you. <laughs> but you, that is why I'm going to help you. Don't need your help. Well, unfortunately for both of us, I need you to need my help. One last time before I'm gone to tell me, Carol, what is it you truly desire? Really? I'm all good. Oh. <laughs> I want someone I can spend the rest of my life with. See, you want sex. No! What? No! Oh, uh, you are in luck, my friend. Sure, I don't need your help to find the right person. Besides, mm. so if I've gone this long, uh, 14, maybe 15 days. Oh, that's awful. Months. 15 months? I don't need your help to have sex. Uh, I could just come back later. Uh, uh. Actual murder took place out of frame, but we did get this. Mm. Bags. And the names on those bags are all brand names of shoes. Kate Jacobs. And guess what? Her phone number matches the one in the victim's burner. I got a date with the shoe lady. Not a date. Uh, it is, uh, it's a, a date with the shoe lady. Maybe she'll give you the horn. <laughs> shoe horn. Please excuse me. Like I said, I do not need your help. Taking a while for Lucifer to start running the family business. You know, what's up? Uh, it's that guy. It's just that, you know, well, he's nice, okay? Maybe a little too nice. He's just too good to be true. You like him. 
Aw. No, I love kung fu movies, okay? And apparently he loves kung fu movies too. What are the chances we both like the same thing? Um, well, you pretty much like everything, Ella, so. And he picked up my bag. Who does that? <laughs> he reminds you of Pete, huh? Yeah. Hard to trust someone after your last BF was an SK. Carol isn't a serial killer. And he was one of Dan's best friends. You're saying you want to investigate? I'm thinking more along the lines of the uh, precinct personnel files. Maybe I just overreacted. No, no, no. It's good. It's good to do a little recon. So if you didn't kill him, why did you run from the scene of the crime? When I got there, I found him dead. Why didn't you wait for the police to arrive? Your goods are stolen. I can neither confirm nor deny that. I'm not denying is the chemistry between you two. Oh. <laughs> Seriously, who is that? Please get out of there. I'm here for you, so as you wish. It was not an invitation for you to come in here. <laughs> please, please. I'm so sorry about this. Oh, also thoughtful and sensitive. It makes you want to jump his bones, doesn't it? She is a person of interest in a murder investigation. So you're saying you're interested? I don't ask a lot of my clients just that they pay in cash. Of course. Of course. I was always buying this woman Fiona shoes. But lately, I've been hearing about another woman. Uh, do you know the other woman's name, by any chance? Busty. A drag queen named Busty who performs at Hamburger Mary's. Busty Bazunga. Thank you, and goodbye. Goodbye. I don't feel any different. Oh, Lord, he's got to keep Come going. Come on, Marty, just try my badge. You're no longer a detective. And Lopez, you don't have access. He's right, I mean, rules are rules, and... I mean, it's for the best. Because, you know, broken. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh, quick. Oh, God. I'm a 10. I'm a 10. <laughs> Aren't you an all American slice of pie? <laughs> Table for one. Hopefully. You wear a Miss Bazungas uh, would be busty. Just running a skosh behind, poor thing. She barely had time to tuck. So, Fiona works here, too. Mm hmm. Fiona Fierce. She's literally hostile with everyone. Why are all detectives called dicks? Ah! Hi, I'm the club's manager in the house. Can I help you? Great. Um, investigating the murder of a man named Fred. What? Fiona is dead? You, you think Brian did this? Who's Brian? Uh, Brian's drag persona is busty. Excuse me, detective. I have to go queue up the show. You're an amazing show. All right. Is that part of the drag queen? Uh, who am I kidding? I know you're all bitches and whores. Anyone has proven that you can win Drag Race without being pretty, it is Bianca Del Rio. <laughs> One this queen would kill for. <laughs> Joining me on stage puts the ass in classy, just the tip in tipsy. Tramp. Tramp. Ooh, she never comes late. And Mystique never bothers with the people. That she hates. Uh, she gets the sausages. Uh, she howls and she moans. While the lady is a crab now. She flew down to London. Scarlet didn't come with the wine. It's gotta ride. Uh, That's why the lady is a crab. The drag queen is everything. It says here Carol was in Vice. Isn't that what undercover cops do? Run around pretending to be something they're not? Looks like he took uh, a year off after Vice. You're saying that after he was a professional liar, he just vanished? Working undercover can be extremely stressful. He probably just took some time off to decompress. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. So did find you find something. the killer? It seems that you are the main suspect at the moment. In Busty's defense, I did hear Fiona was a bit of a bitch. I've always been something of a comedy queen. And lately I've been working on serving more fish. <laughs> Upping her beauty game. Oh. She was helping me revamp my entire drag persona. We argued like trailer trash in a Walmart parking lot on Black Friday. <laughs> Once you found this world, this life, that's it. Here's Idol that's got it all figured out. Godlike. But confidence is a work in progress. I mean, when is anyone's chicken ever fully cooked? Drag saved me. This makeup, this jewelry, this is my armor. Even though the paint can give me strength, it still has to come from within. Well, that if I put too much effort into being pretty queen, that people would laugh at me. But if we're gonna change the world and hunting, we are. Queens like me gotta work on facing all of our fears. 
and knowing we're enough. Fiona was pushing me. I didn't always want to hear it. I am busty bazoongas. <laughs> but until I can look within and own that, I will never be who you're truly meant to be. We truly want to find the killer. Good luck on that one. Fiona's list of enemies was as long as my luxurious wig. It's a legal name now. I can get into financials and email. Busty can do that together over a candlelit dinner. I'm afraid this queen's long-term beau would object. Right. Don't give up hope quite yet. Maybe the hostess is single. She seemed quite taken with you. Because I don't <sighs> care about you. It doesn't mean you can't care about somebody. So what <laughs> are you looking for? Grabbing Miss Lopez. No, I'm not. Uh -huh. Qualified to help you transform into the kind of man she would be interested in. What was this? Excuse me. You're excused. Pause. She looks so familiar. Where is she from? Not a damn soul. Oh, well, you're not a demon. Whoever you are, you're really not supposed to be here. Really not supposed to be here. I don't understand. Who are you? What are you doing here? Came to see him. Who's he? Gonna help me destroy Lucifer Morningstar? You don't want Michael's help? He failed. Badly. Why I want to talk to him, I need to know what he did wrong so I don't make the same mistakes. His plan was way too complex. He should have just walked right up to Lucifer and shot him like that stupid human did. What stupid human? What? So she's an angel. Of what? what? Carol? Sir. Have you seen Lucifer anywhere? He wanted me to meet him here. Maybe I have, maybe I haven't. Wanna maybe take those off? No, I do all my best work in the dark. I, I'm not in a creepy way. Cause I'm a bad boy. Uh, <laughs> Are you undercover? It's all me. I mean, not, it's not really me. It was a huge mistake. Okay, you know what, um, that we can agree on. Okay. But, okay, just, it doesn't mean that we're good for each other. Wait, wait, hold on. What? I mean, I, do you think? I gotta go. Where were you? Well, I saw you two lovebirds and I didn't want to interrupt. No, no, I do not love bad boys, okay? Because bad boys are, well, bad. I, I actually hate them. All you're doing, wasn't it? Yes, it was. So apart from his name, please don't be upset with Carol. I thought I liked Carol the way he was, but I don't even know who that is. I doing, and technically it's not a lie. But he was willing to go along with it, Lucifer. Can lie about being a bad boy, then maybe he is lying about liking kung fu movies and- You're suffering from peaked TSD. I'm just feeling so strange, like God's gone. I, I'm gonna need the real deal for this Carol situation, and I just can't feel him. Me helping you prove that Carol isn't a lying, cheating, serial killing room averted? <laughs> Miss Lopez, I'll do it. Let's just do what we came here to do before I change my mind, and Carol comes home from work. Clearly what it presents to be, a poster boy for beige, and since that's what you're going for these days, you win. Oh, come on, what are you waiting for? Open it. Right. Yeah. <sighs> no murder flowers. <sighs> There's still that missing ear. What was he doing that whole time? Maybe you'll just have to accept that this one is just a good guy. Accepted my darkness, and I still love myself. Go forth and bed your man. Oh, that's not what I'm no, trying no, to. No, no, no need to thank me. All in a god's day's work. Uh -huh. experience before you get. Down and dirty. Be a locked human sized trunk at the foot of his bed. You want to go on a bounty with me? Yes, yes me! Yeah, I think it'd be fun, and my schedule is wide open. Something's off with you. <laughs> no, 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 I'm just bored. If I'm going to be helping you out, maybe you can help me out. Some sparring lessons? Sparring lessons? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. <laughs> what? I said, I want to spar. Bitch. Don't say I didn't warn you, bitch. Cause I came to conquer. Housing his nicest pair of chinos. Yeah, yeah, or a dead body. Don't be ridiculous, we'd smell it. Maybe something is wrong with me, but I have to know what's in there, Lucifer. Miss Lopez! you look at that? Lock's broken. That's nothing, creep. Alcohol? Scotch, but this seems like overkill. Oh, overkill. he's a big alcoholic. One day at a time. Carol's a recovering alcoholic. Oh, that is fantastic news. Oh my gosh, it's Carol. 
What do we do? Well, I believe it's customary to answer it. You're not, uh, headed home, are you? Uh, no. Through his records. And I couldn't find anything. So I figured I'd stop by here, rifled through Fred's computer, which is currently open to a calendar event for his meeting with Kate. And they didn't find him, but they found the address on his computer. I mean, you could come over and dust for prints, because I am guessing whoever broke in here is probably our killer. <laughs> totally do that, because it's not like I'm doing anything important. You know, I'm just hanging out by myself. That's, that's funny. I, I live close by here, too. I guess we're neighbors. Oh, it's him. So much for wiping my tracks. Now you've seen me. Why don't you just put the knife down, Niles, and, and we can have a talk, okay? Uh -huh. <laughs> Cuff yourself to that table. <laughs> Niles. Do it! Okay. Just give me a second. He's not handcuffed all the way. It's a friend. But things escalated and got physical, and, and we fell. Did you want to talk to him about Niles? He was sleeping with my boyfriend. A little love note he put in the box. So you can see yourself the way I see you. Carol? We're okay. We're good. We're good. Boyfriend. It's Brian, isn't it? I love him so much. Oh. <laughs> but he started acting strange. Fred was having an affair with him. Fred was helping Brian be a better busty. They weren't having an affair. It happened to me before with my ex. Just because somebody hurts you doesn't mean the next person is going to do the same thing. See? Look at this. No, it's a <laughs> I was like, it was a handcuff. Like I thought. Come on. That was cool, super cop. <laughs> okay. I'm out. What? So soon? You really are enjoying this super strength stuff, huh? Yeah, it's fun! You know what else I love? Sleep. I'm out. Wait! Same time tomorrow? Yeah? Chloe, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Why wouldn't I be? Like you said, I have a wedding to plan, so I'm gonna pass on tomorrow. Yeah, Chloe's losing yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. The story matches the autopsy report, so it wasn't premeditated. It's oh. not me. I, I was just, I was taking some very bad advice because, um, I'm just gonna say it. I like you. I broke into your place. I stole your personnel file. I worried about your vice days and that missing year, and I broke in. And I found your trunk. And I opened it. Something that is yours to tell in your own time. As for the year uh, that is missing, I, I was in rehab. Figure out who I am again, and being around you, it just, it's just easy. Carol, just, it's broken your place. The best. I am so sorry for what I did, Carol. And the last guy I dated was sort of a um, serial killer. Tends to lead to a little mistrust in the romance department. Guess that's one more thing we have in common, huh? You did it, oh, sir. Baggage. You're not mad? Well, it's not great that you broke into my apartment. Say it's a sign you like me too. He's crazy. <laughs> you still want to go see Supercop? No. Promise me that if you ever want to know anything um, about me, that you'll just ask. Deal. Damn. Ugh. Oh, sorry. Were you using this? I'm not here for ping pong. Did Lucifer send you? Not exactly, but he is the reason why I'm here. I heard you he almost killed the devil. Yeah, it was one of the worst things I've ever done. In fact, I feel really guilty about it. Speaking of, how did you get so close to killing him? Exactly. Manipulated by an angel. Lots of humans, even angels, have fallen for his lies. I'd love to hear your side of the story. <laughs> I'm not gonna help you hurt Lucifer. I don't care who you are. For all I know, that's what got me into hell in the first place. Lucifer's not the only one who likes to make deals. I can get you out of here. <laughs> Still trying to figure out a way, so... What's there to figure? It's easy. I can just fly you up to Earth. Then why would Lucifer leave me down here for thousands of years? No clue. If you're not interested... Wait. She's lying. Maybe I can help you. Look who's not so stupid after all. How was your day, honey? Uh, uneventful. Helped Carol, but then I was genuinely happy when he and Miss Lopez worked out. Which means somewhere along the way I ended up caring about the stupid man, so mission not accomplished. 
I'm sorry. This has taken longer than we thought. There's no rush, right? Maybe we should just take our time. Oh man! I've never seen Super Cop. So popcorny. <laughs> That's an well, interesting outfit. This is me. Wow. I have to say that I think tonight is the best date I've ever had. I would call you a liar, but you're still up there. Thanks. He's not. So isn't that like a isn't it like a story in a Bible or something? Like when the world ends, doesn't like frogs like fly like come out from the sky? Like frogs, I thought it was like frogs and like bugs and stuff like that, and then like plagues and other things, fire, earth, water, some shit like that. Um, but is I wonder if that's what's happening. I don't know why Lucifer believes that like like Earth can like not have a god for as long as he feels like it as he's you know, just figuring things out. Like, uh, I'm like, oh, what's going on? And clearly it's not doing that well with Chloe. Chloe's acting out, Chloe's getting off on fighting because look, she was a detective, she's not a detective now, she's at home, she's folding socks weirdly. Um, she doesn't know what to do, she's lost, she feels so misplaced, nobody knows where her daughter is. Like, you know what I mean? Like, so, she, so Chloe's going through it, y'all. And that, uh, by the way, Maze came in this episode looking fabulous. Maze, fabulous and fierce. This is like my favorite look of her so far in all the seasons. And she has a lot of looks. That look that she came in this episode was life. I could have just stayed there with Maze. By the way, Maze is like, I think my favorite character of this show because she, I know that always when she comes, I'm either going to get action or comedy. And I always get really into her, her scenes compared to all the other characters of this show. They all have their strong points, but Maze consistently has strong points over and over and over and over again. Um, what else I want to say? Lucifer, Luc Lucifer was funny in this episode. It was good. I, I do, I really do like this show. And I like this this season so far because we're getting a little bit more of the fantasy aspect compared to like the crime. We are still getting the crime, but we're very heavy into Lucifer and and all of uh, that magic shit that we're going through. Excuse my French. Um, so it was good there. I'm trying to think what I wanted to say about this episode. Oh yeah, that lady that we saw in Hell, she looked like the lady that was in Deadpool, one of the mutants, but it's not her. As I kept staring at her, I was like, oh, that's not her, I don't think. Uh, but regardless, she's a very interesting character. I was, every time she's like on the scene and like after we saw her face, I'm like, who is that? Like, I'm thinking, it has to be an angel that I never heard of and this show clearly has. And I got a name, they're gonna drop the name soon. Uh, I would Google it, but I don't want to spoil myself. But regardless, I'm like, who could want to kill Lucifer that wasn't in the last season? Who could come down to hell? And is it true? I don't think all angels could go down to hell. Oh no, they can, because uh, Amenadiel did. So there's that. But her, when she showed her wings, it was like this glassy, shiny look, and then you hear it like crystals is what I kept thinking about when I heard the sounds as her wings was like kind of moving. So we have that little situation. Um, I thought that nurse lady, the de demon, whatever that was, I thought she was gonna get like pulverized by this angel, this pink winged angel, but clearly she did not. I don't know what angel that could be. Um, regardless, this is a good episode. I'm starting to think we're not gonna get God, like the actual, the, the guy. And uh, I hope we do. We get God and the lady, the goddess lady, whatever her name was. Because those two are like pivotal characters of this show. And I hope we don't get through the whole season like like their goodbye was last season. That doesn't even seem to be true because we're already starting to fast pace move to Daniel being revived from the dead back to earth. Um, which I don't know how that could even happen because we already been at his funeral. Um, regardless, y'all, this is a very, very good episode. I did, oh, and Bob the Drag Queen, how could I miss that? 
that had to be by the drag queen, right? And um, the other drag queen that was at the hostess, she also looked familiar, but I never watched RuPaul Drag Race. And the only reason why I know Bada Drag Queen was because I went to, uh, I was a part of something with the LGBT uh, community, especially with their pride parades. And Bob the Drag Queen was here one summer in New York City, and I attended some events that he was hosting. Um, and Bob the Drag Queen is a key to the gag, to the lemons of all the squeezes of the juices. She, Bob, she is, she serves life of the river. I think that's the pro proper pronoun. I go, he, she. I don't know what the proper pronoun for Bob the Drag Queen is. How about I look it up? I don't know what Bob the Drag Queen, uh, Bob the Drag Queen would go by. Bob the Drag Queen pronouns. Let's just pronoun. It says he, him, she, her. So, I don't know. What you wanna call her, Bob the Drag Queen? Regardless, Bob the Drag Queen is, is everything. If you guys haven't seen uh, some of Bob the Drag Queen's stand-up comedy as well, it's also hysterical. Um, and Bob the Drag Queen performs. I think the song was Purse. I think that's what the song was that I keyed to uh, what, what probably like three, four summers ago. That was like a whole whole thing. Uh, regardless, loved that part of the episode. And when Bob the Drag Queen gave the little speech about drag performances and stuff like that, um, and being a drag queen, that also, I felt like that was like an actual message that they put into the show for those people that are watching this and being like, uh, having that representation for them in this show. And that, ins those inspiring words, the Bottle Drag Queen probably was, was part of Bob Drag Queen's real life. How many times can I say Bob Drag Queen? Are you guys getting annoyed? Um, <laughs> imagine if it wasn't Bob Drag Queen. Let me make sure, Bob Drag Queen and Lucifer. I have to, I, I'm almost positive because I know Bob Drag Queen's voice. Bob Drag Queen and Lucifer, season six. Am I right? Kataya, okay, so Kataya and Bob Drag Queen was in um, the, final, uh, the final episodes. Okay, I was right. I don't know. Um, I don't know Kataya. Well, that's clearly the hostess, right? Because that's why, yeah, that was the hostess. Um, I don't know that person. But yeah, and I'm not really big on uh, RuPaul's Drag Race, as I did say, so for me to know Bob the Drag Queen, as soon as I heard the voice, I was like, hold on, wait one second. Um, I would rate this episode an eight. Eight out of 10, I'm looking forward to uh, continuing on. I'm gonna be uh, filming another episode tomorrow of this show, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to drop it due to I'm having a party, so I have to clean up my house. Um, so I might be a little busy to be pushing all these edits, but do know that I'll be filming another episode tomorrow of Lucifer, and then I'll be pushing that episode out as well. So I would have three wrapped up uh, of this season, and then we're gonna continue on next week as well. At least I'll be able to film one episode definitely next week, um, and then we'll be four, and then we'll see what we could do. <laughs> I'm counting, because this is the last season, so I'm trying to wrap it up as fast as humanly possible. Thank you guys so much for being here. Check out all my other reactions, and until next time, more of this. Around if they could, they evil. I'm fighting the crime, saving your lives. What are the time? I'm killing the rhymes. I do it for the people. I'm Peter Parker running through the six with a bag.